Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Nine. I'm the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Um, have you ever heard of coffin homes? Uh, it sounds like some Japanese type ish, though. I'll tell you that much right now, because I know that they have like not a lot of land in Japanese. They have like the capsule hotels that you can stay in. If you, you know about these, no. What's that? Let's talk about that real quick. The capsule first. hotels are like. Uh, you go and essentially you rent like a, <laughs> it's essentially like a bunk. Like you think of like a bunk bed, it's like a bunk, but it's like a capsule. You can lay in it. It has a charge port for your phone. It has like Wi-Fi and everything, but you rent that because of like. Just to sleep in basically. Yeah. So I think this is actually similar. Okay. Um, it's actually Hong Kong. And this is story's a little dated. I guess this is ah. from like uh, a few years ago. Yeah. But uh, it, they're literally they're three hundred and ten dollars a month, which is actually a lot. That's a but three hundred ten yen dollars. Dollars? Yeah. Mother For a three by six room. A three by six. Three foot wide, six foot long, and like it, the picture has like a guy, and it has like it just has like a mat like a thin mattress on it, and there's like a fan hanging, and like he has some clothes hanging up. Like people rent these to live in. And then they have slightly bigger ones that are like five hundred dollars a month, and there was a picture of like a mom and her two kids in one. That's crazy. <clears throat> yeah. So obviously controversial, right? Yeah. Like, because here's the thing: like, I don't remember like before, uh, like when I rented a room after me and my ex-wife split up. I don't remember what I paid. Yeah. But it wasn't. I feel like it was like five hundred dollars a month, or some plus like yeah. my part of the utilities or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it was like a tw it was like a maybe I don't know. I had a bed, a chair, a desk, a t so maybe like not a ten it wasn't quite tw ten by ten. Maybe like fifteen by fifteen room or something. Mm -hmm. So like I didn't have a lot of room other than like the queen bed and a chair in it. But like I had I had my stuff and like that was cramped as hell. Yeah, like, I, I couldn't imagine living in something that small. Like, and I could definitely. I, like the room I rented could, or the three by six? Yeah. The room I rented or the three by six or both? Uh, the room, I, the three by six. Oh, yeah. Right. Like, yeah. Like, I don't know, man. That's insane. It's a little bit. It's a little crazy. So I looked up the average rent in, in Hong Kong because I had to know, like, by via comparison, that 312 or whatever yeah, dollars yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. What, what that was for average written in Hong Kong. So it looks like 1,200 to 20,000 HKD, which I don't know what that is, but that well, equates to about fifteen to $2,500 a month for average rent. I mean, that's like for the U.S. A, but that's average rent. I mean... That's that's including these homes in that equation because mean, median, mode. Oh, right, 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 so, right, 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 right. So that means is that Hong Kong is crazy. Now, if I were to look up average rent in like Austin, Texas, which is currently like going crazy, of course it doesn't just give me a quick number because they don't want to tell you that, but it's about twelve hundred. That's old. You can't so, even find an apartment for twelve hundred for twelve hundred bucks anymore. <laughs> It's twelve to fourteen hundred. That's a lie. Or, or I'm sorry. It's it's twelve hundred to twenty three hundred. What year was that? Twelve hundred twenty three hundred dollars a month. Uh, if you can find an apartment in Austin for under twelve hundred that you don't get shot or robbed at, like, tell me where it is. Is that big facts, man? Is that, is that dude? Like, like the, real the life one here? bedrooms here are like fourteen hundred dollars or something. Like, That's crazy. yeah, dude, it's insane. Like when I first moved to Austin, I even think about the two that. bedroom apartment we lived in was twelve hundred dollars a month. Not bad. And when That's not bad. but what was funny was at the time I was renting a one bedroom apartment in Cleveland for five hundred dollars a month. And so when and, my and I remember having like six hundred dollar rent in, right. in Ohio. So when my ex-wife was like, we're going to like, like, I was like, I was like, you know, Austin better than I do. Find a find a couple apartment build apartments mm -hmm. and then I'll, I'll help us decide on one like you know the area what would be good for me to get to work yada, yada. and she was like this one i'm like oh that's a cool place i like that and i was like how much is that and she's like 1215 dollars a month i literally like spit out my drink because i was really? like a month and then now like that's the cheapest shit ever because i was paying <laughs> that was one and a half times my rent in cleveland 
Okay, so I I had a similar, uh, I guess I got integrated a little bit differently than you. I had the same idea in Cleveland where I was paying like 500, 600 bucks a month for rent. And then I moved to New York where I was paying like 800. And then I moved to Florida and I was paying like 900. And then I came out here and it was like, oh, it's 1200. I was like, yeah, that makes sense. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, this is way better than both of those places. Yeah. I, I just kind of figured as I moved up in the ranks, like it was only naturals that it would go up. Yeah. Like and then, of course, yeah. we have the we have each other. You ain't paying fifteen hundred dollars a month to live in the hood. You know, what I mean? yeah. So, um, you know, like I still to this day, Jonas, I pay less in rent currently uh, cohabitating with you than I did when I was living in Florida. Oh yeah, nine hundred dollars. Like, oh total. yeah, like people like because I know people like like Austin love to talk about this kind of stuff. So they're like, oh yeah, like you know how much is your rent? You know what I mean or whatever. And I'm like, oh, I only pay like X a month with all the utilities. And I'm like, what exactly. the hell? I'm like, I got a roommate. Dude. Exactly. Like, like, it, it only makes it honestly. It makes sense. Like it's insane. Most most adults that are not married or whatever, living with their girlfriend or boyfriend, have roommates. Do they? A lot do. Because okay. most people can't afford it, dude. Okay. Most people can't afford two thousand dollars a month for like living expenses. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You know what I mean? Like, like uh, I mean, big facts. If I was living here on my own, I'd probably oh. live way farther south or way farther north because it would just be cheaper. Because like, I don't need a nice like. I mean, I want to live in a nice place, but like, right now it's like, oh, we live super close to downtown, and it's not that expensive in comparison no. like but like if i was like oh well, would i want to live here and pay double what i pay now probably not no. i'd be like even if i could afford it i'd be like i'm good <laughs> I'll, yeah, I'll move facts. south like save myself a bunch of money and have to drive an extra 10 minutes downtown because i don't i used to go out a lot more so like one of the cool things about this is ubers are very cheap to go downtown so mm -hmm. if i had to pay twice as much for an uber that's fine because i only i don't go out every week you know, once or twice a month, I got to pay 50 bucks for Uber downtown and back. I'm all right with that. That's right. That's right. But like it's it's location, location, location. I, I honestly, I don't know, man. It's I didn't I didn't I didn't never even kind of took into concern how how common the whole roommate idea was. Um, I guess it is more common. I have heard uh, a lot of people speaking on having that. And I don't know if that's like a change in the times or if that's well, cause just everybody, everything's expensive and everybody makes shit money. It's yeah. Cause it is crazy out here. I right? mean, like if you want, well, it's like, and we, we, neither one of us are necessarily doing poorly in our, in our, yeah, we're, uh, neither one of us is broke, but yeah. like, God damn, if I had to like rent up, if I rented the same two bedroom thing by myself, we would be living different lifestyles. I would not be eating the food I eat, going yeah. out, doing the things I do because like, yeah. it saves me a lot of money. Yeah. Like half of, if I had to double what I pay for living expenses yeah. right now, that money is literally extra money Yeah, because it's just, I don't have to spend it on another bill. So it's like, it's just free money. It's money. We essentially are saving for when we can no longer work again. Right. But I just spent or it. Or investing. Yeah. Or I'm Or you just spend it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So and look, but, we look, Amazon is a goddamn drug. I think Amazon needs to be put on the DMS five. D yes. The DMC. DS DSM five. You know what I'm talking about. I do. I know exactly what you're <laughs> talking medical about. Medical sheet. DM yeah. Do you have a, do you have a, uh, a, a, a special diagnosis of an <laughs> Amazonaholic? <laughs> Telling you, I mean, you, this guy gets it. I do. I I like ordering off Amazon. I do too. And and the best part is like, cause I don't have like I'm like I'm like, damn, I really need that thing, man. I ain't going to Walmart tomorrow. I have it. I don't gotta leave the house. Exactly. And guess what? I don't need it anymore. I run my ass down to the UPS store and send it back for free. So I take one trip, take like seven things back I don't want because I just order. I order whatever I want and I take that <laughs> shit back. I order what I want. Yeah, if I, I want to order a sixty dollar muffin tray and then I get it and I'm like, I don't like this, I'm taking that back. Bro, yeah, if Bezos. I, if I ever see you order a sixty dollar <laughs> muffin tray, we're gonna have an intervention. What if I want to make turkey muffins? You don't want to do that. I don't. You're not right. You're not wrong. Yeah, I'm not right. And or if wrong. I did, I would buy a five dollar muffin tray to do it. Yeah, that's a good. Honestly, you don't need a muffin tray at all because you don't need to make muffins. I don't ever make muffins. You don't I need make to cupcakes. make muffins. Nope. Don't I don't make that. either of those. Nope. I make brown. What if I want to make brownie cupcakes? You don't need that either. I'll Sorry. just make them in a big ass pan because I got one of them. Just, just buy them. 
Just go no, to a store. No, no, mine look, are better. Look, mine think, are better. You think about mine. <laughs> Mine are better. <laughs> Mine are better. Tell me my brownies ain't better than the ones you what buy. What the hell you tell God damn it. I don't even know. They're better than Little Debbie's, I exactly. guess. Exactly. What is that? <laughs> but you could go to like a bakery, somebody who went to like a Michelin star uh, culinary school and like oh, get damn. their brownies. Why don't I do that? You what? Go to God a Michelin star no, culinary almost, school? It's almost my birthday. I'm about to make some brownies. Mm. Once a year. Twice a year. I only make them once a year. Christmas. Uh, uh, Christmas. I don't make brownies at Christmas. Thanksgiving. Nope. That's steak and stuffing. Hanukkah. For Hanukkah, I do. You okay? Oh, I you, so you and, caught me in a racism joke before I made it racist. Good job. <laughs> Juneteenth. Yep. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. All that right. was yesterday, by the way. <laughs> was it? Because this is no. Yep. Because no. Nope, maybe two days I ago. I don't know what day. The, uh, you don't know what day June coming out. Is no, on? I know what day it is. But what day this podcast is coming out? To be oh, like, oh, okay, that was. Okay. I was trying to be coy, but I don't I think enough, this, this. It would have been yesterday. I think. Right, I don't know. Fair enough. Yeah. Anyways, that's happy, what's happy Juneteenth. Episode. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, that's a. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, I don't know what I'm doing. The crazy sound.com, Jonas. TNT! Oh,